Welcome to the SCP Foundation Anomaly Safety Manual. If SCP-106 breaches containment, the threat level will be critical. Keeping your distance from SCP-106 and the corrosion it leaves behind provide the best chances of survival until the recall protocol can be put into effect. SCP-106 will attempt to incapacitate its prey by targeting vital organs, muscle groups, and tendons. Recovery of a captured person is not recommended or authorized under any means. Anyone believed to have been captured by SCP-106 will be marked as KIA. Hiding from SCP-106 is not recommended, as it is able to pass through solid matter to find prey. Wait until the recall protocol is complete. Just read it out. Okay. Right, right, I'll read it. We here at the Chaos Entity Research Department would like to announce that your lives might have been affected by a corporation known as the SCP Fan. What the hell are you trying to make me read? This. Hello, this is a public service announcement. We here at the Chaos Entity Research Department would like to announce that your lives may have been affected by an organization known as the SCP Foundation. The SCP Foundation's purpose was to hide the truth of the existence of paranormal entities. We here at the Chaos Insurgency and the Chaos Entity Research Department have acquired this information and in the next coming days will release this information to the public, for free. If you feel that the SCP Foundation has affected your life or the lives of people around you feel free to contact us at once. You will find a way in. The back door is wide open with very little defense. Be careful these people are willing to use our SCPs. Good luck. From Dr. E. Vanderlyn. Remember the acronym SHE. S is for finding safe rooms. H is for hide in safe rooms. And E is for evaluate your situation. Remember. The Foundation's duty is to secure, contain, and protect.